Most people don't know who they are. It's a fact. Most people think who they are is their name. They think their nationality is who they are. They think their religion is who they are. They think their culture is who they are. They think their occupation is who they are. Here is the interesting thing though. Did they pick their name? Did they pick their nationality? Did they pick their religion? Did they pick their culture? Did they even pick their occupation? Or were they influenced by society to pick their occupation? Think about that for a second. The number one reason majority of people fail is they don't know who they are. They actually don't know who they are. None of these things they pick themselves. My name is my name, but if I change my name, it doesn't change who I am. If I change my occupation, it doesn't change who I am. So if we removed your culture, your nationality, your religion, your name and your occupation, who are you? Do you know who you are? Or do you define yourself from the outside in? If you define yourself from the outside in, you can never conquer circumstances because nothing that you have picked about yourself, you actually picked about yourself. Somebody else picked it for you. In fact, for majority of people, 100% of their identity has been given to them by others. Think about that for a second. If you don't know who you are, what is the basis of your decisions? How do you make decisions? Mommy and daddy tell me, teachers tell me, media tell me, politicians tell me, bosses tell me, colleagues tell me. Mm. No wonder majority of people are unhappy. They've ended up somewhere they didn't want to go. Because instead of listening to what's inside, they were listening to what's outside. Number one reason they don't know who they are. Who you are is not defined by your name, your nationality, your culture, your religion or your occupation. Who you are is defined by your purpose, your passions, your values, your strengths, your zone of genius and your goals. And majority of people could not tell me anything about their own purpose, their own passion, their own values, their own strengths, their own mission and their own goals and their own zone of genius. Most people don't know who they are. They are living a lie, a fabricated identity given to them by society. Is it no wonder that despite the fact that we have the best technological and medical advances in the world today, majority of people have no confidence, they're depressed, anxious, and stuck in mediocrity. Number one reason, you've got to fix this and we will help you fix this. Number two, they don't know what they want. Majority of people don't actually know what they want. They have never asked themselves the question. They were too busy listening to society. They never sat down and said, what do I truly, 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 truly want? What do I really want? They are so afraid already. The society has already told them, you can't have that. You can't marry that person. You can't have that job. You can't do this education. You can't travel there. They have been told no so many times that they now think that life is a little prison. They're not free. They don't know what they want. In fact, so many times when I say to people, you've got to go after what you want. They say to me, Ron, this is a Western concept. I go, no, this is a human concept. This is a spiritual concept. This is a spiritual concept. No human being in the world has the right to take your freedom away. Nobody. Nobody has the right to take your freedom away. It's a constitutional, moral and spiritual right. But majority of people don't even believe that. Can you see how they have been programmed already? To not listen to themselves, but listen to everybody else. No wonder they don't even know where they're going. Can you imagine? Can you imagine getting in a boat or a car and not knowing your destination? What are you going to do? You're going to drive around. You're going to sail around and you're going to waste all the fuel, the fuel of life, which a lot of people are wasting.